You may not have noticed when you fly your Mini 2 that the app you're using is significantly out of date. Let's talk about why, how to check, and how to fix it. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you enjoy these kind of tutorial videos, then smash that subscribe button below. Anyway, there's an interesting observation that the app that you're using to fly drones, such as the Mavic Air 2 and also the Mini 2, isn't being updated on the Android Play Store properly. Glance on the Apple Store at the DJI Fly app, scroll down, and you'll notice that the version states 1.3.0. However, do the same on the Google Android Store, and you'll notice that actually the app is old. In fact, the version is a mere 1.2.1. Now it's not uncommon for the two platforms to be slightly out of sync in terms of version, but that's a whole full release different. Therefore, there is clearly something wrong here. If we now also glance at the DJI website, you'll notice that both apps are at version 1.3.0. And that points to the fact that there is a problem with the Android App Store. A few months ago, the version of DJI Fly on the Android App Store stopped being updated. Now we don't know why. There could be a number of reasons here. It could be a packaging change change. It could also be because the latest version of the DJI app doesn't comply with the Android App Store requirements and therefore it's not being updated. Regardless, this is a problem for consumers because it means you're not getting the latest functionality. You're missing out on new features from a safety and a functionality perspective. There's only one simple solution here, which is basically to manually update. And that means downloading it from the DJI App Store, which is very, very easy to do. And I'll show you how to do it now. So the first thing to do is to get your device, your Android phone that you're actually using to fly your drone with. You then need to open up settings because what we're first of all going to do is uninstall the existing DJI Fly app. You'll need to go to apps on your phone and then find the DJI Fly, so it's called DJI Fly, there it is and you'll need to uninstall that app. Scroll right down to the bottom and it'll actually show you what version you're running. And as you can see on mine, I'm running 1.21. Press the uninstall button to remove that app completely and there it goes, it's gone. What we're now gonna do is go to the DJI website on our phone. So open up a web browser in there, type in the search DJI Fly App Download and you'll get a result there, which takes you to the DJI Fly Download Center. It could be more obviously named, which is good. Click on that, and that will then take you to the downloads immediately. So you can see here, we've got the option to download an Android APK. Now an APK is kind of like a .exe file that you might see on a computer. It's an executable that the Android platform understands. So press to download that file. Now it will download a file and it warns you that this can harm your device. And it simply means that rather than going to the Play Store, you're bypassing that and downloading the installation directly. So press OK and it will then download that file. Pressing on details shows you the status of the download and you can see here that ours is downloading. It's 264 megabytes, which is rather large. So make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi rather than data before you start downloading the file. That has now finished downloading, so we can press on it to install it. Now, you might actually be warned, as you can see here, that we're not allowed to install apps that are not from the App Store. That's a warning built into your phone, but it's easy to work around. Simply press on settings and then you'll be given the option to allow from this source, enable that, and then press back. You'll then be prompted to install the application, press install, and there we go, DJI Fly will now install. And you now have the latest 1.3.0 or whatever version is currently out installed on your device. You can now, once that's installed, open up the app and you will get the latest version of the app, which remember, because we've now installed it from scratch, we need to go through and agree and set certain permissions, etc. But that's all fine because effectively we've uninstalled and reinstalled, and so we do have to reaccept any new permissions that the latest version might require. It's really not ideal, this scenario. I don't want to have to go through that every single time there's a newer version, but luckily these version updates don't arrive more than around a month between the other. But it is still an inconvenience, and DJI really, really need to sort this out. 
The same issue and limitation doesn't exist for iOS, and so I really don't think we need to worry about what might be in that app that's a concern. I think this genuinely is just a, simply a case of packaging issue, and maybe DJI need to update their process for developing apps. Regardless, hopefully this guide has shown you how to get the latest version. Comment below if you had success with this, or if you'd like to see any other tutorials or guides like this one. Give this video a thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you're an untrusted app. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.